Hey guys, Ellen Woodbridge here, independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Australia. And I am back from On Stage Live in Auckland, which is the demonstrator only launch event for our catalogues. And this time, hello Miss Denise, thank you for joining. And this time, hey Kathleen, we were launching our 2019-2020 annual catalog. Unfortunately, this is all I can show you of the catalog right now. Hey Sherry, hey uh, Deb, please excuse my voice. I didn't go to work today to try and rest my voice. Hey Wendy, um, yeah, I've tried to rest my voice. I'm still slightly scratchy, but my actual day job involves uh, talking on the phone for four hours straight. So it probably was a good idea that I didn't go to work this morning. Hey, Arnie Di. Hey, Margaret. I can see who else is joining here. Oh, I'm so glad. I missed you so much, Deb. It didn't feel like on stage without you there with me. Um, I'm just right. I don't... Hey, Carolyn. Sorry, I knew I'd missed someone. Hey, Chrissy. Now, if you guys are popping in live or on the replay, please say hi. I do have lots to share with you. Um, and... Yeah, I'm not going to do two videos like I have in previous um, on stages. I'm going to give you my whole video in one whole hog. Just because that's why I'm doing it. It's easier. And I think I have everything set out. So as I said, new catalogue. This is all I can show you. Can't show you the inside at all. But... I am going to reference it, especially with colours and names of designer series paper because, unfortunately, I didn't get a huge amount of time to have a look at it um, because it was a very busy four days. Extremely busy. Oh, I didn't go far enough last time. Right, I'm open to the pattern paper page, which we need. One of the most important pages in the catalogue, in my opinion. Now, what I'm going to start with, I know many of you have seen our on-stage bag. Now, everyone from the live event to the local events gets the same bag. Now, I have been talking to a friend this morning and he said to me, and he's in here, hello, Mr. Bobby. Hey, Sandy, thanks for joining. Um, he said, the bag didn't look that big. I'm here to tell you, this bag is huge. Now, you know when I show you a card and everything like that on screen like this, you know my rough sizing. So, this is, now, I'm pretty sure this is our new in colour that I want to get the right name of, and it's Peacock. I'm pretty sure the colouring is the pretty Peacock. Hey, Jeannie. Um, and this is the bag. Now, it is huge. We have pleats on either side, so it opens up. And unlike our bags in previous years, it actually has a zipper. So you can see the zipper here. And my heater's just gone off. I don't need my heater on. I was very cold this morning. Hello, Susan. Um, and it also has a snap closure as well. And you've got a big, a huge zip pocket on the inside, this side. And then we have, mm, let's see if I can show you. I was trying to think the best way to show you girls. And we've got uh, two, two just open pockets on this side that are very deep and then you've got so much room it is a beautiful bag I didn't use it because I had already taken my 25 year convention backpack which could clip really nicely to the back of my wheelchair which I took for the event ah did you go Susan I don't knit I cannot knit hey Becky um yeah so that's the back of it and it is embroidered 
So the, oh, please excuse the dirty mark. I will throw it through the wash. It was running on the wheel of my wheelchair and got a bit dirty. So it is actually stitched, which is lovely. So this colour, uh, who was asking about colour? Um, Susan. The colour I would call this is one of our new colours, which is Pretty Peacock. Now, when I, I have done my product purchase premiere, so when I get the new in colours in, I will do a whole video of that and share with you girls because the lighting was not the best. It, it was better than previous years, but it wasn't the best. Hey, France. Um, but it wasn't the best. The lighting was uh, slightly yellow, which, as we all know, skews the colours to being quite dirty. So, um, yeah, they are. They do err on the side of being warm um, colours. The Pretty Peacock is sort of can go both. Uh, but yeah, I'm I'm liking the colours, and in here I can show you. A version of the colours. We got some manila folders. Um, I can feel my voice going already and I've been really good this morning. We got some, they're, they're Stampin' Up! folders, but they're like um, manila file folders. So this would be the purple posy. I think, I'm oh, sorry. Yes, the purple posy. And this will be the Rocco Rose. And these just... Open. So we got six. We got two each of three designs. So I'll show you these. And these give you a sneak peek into some of the imagery in stamp sets in the catalogue. So nice purple posy. And this once again is the uh, Pretty Peacock. And the last set. So these are going to be very useful in my space. Especially for like when I print things out, I've got somewhere to put them and keep them protected until I use them. Because I sort of have a separate space to my active um, crafting space. I sort of have a space which is like a holding space um, where I put a lot of papers and things like that while I'm preparing things. Yes, posy, P-O-S-Y, not poise. Poise has a totally different meaning here in Australia and for women who laugh a lot and they have had a couple of children, they're really good to wear and I will leave that at that. And this is the last design. Now this isn't necessarily, the yellow isn't an in colour. Oh good, I'm glad. Just checking Bobby. For those who don't know. You know, I'm the bearer of bad news in many situations, so I might as well explain. And we've got this awesome stripe, which is using uh, the purple posy, the peacock, pretty peacock, and the Rocco rose, or Rocco rose, I don't know, tomatoes, tomatoes. So we got those in our bag as a gift. I'll put these, I'm trying let's say, trying to be organised. I did sort out that pile that I took a photo of earlier. And the stamp set that we got in, in our bag was called Daisy Lane. So this um, stamp, we have a new Daisy Punch coming called the Medium, I think it's called Medium Daisy. Oh, good. Good, good, good. I'm so glad you get it, Jeannie. <laughs> and uh, this one uh, matches our existing Daisy Punch, which I actually don't own. And since I own the stamp set, they're making me buy punches. I mean, I've got to go through and see what's retiring now. I have the catalogue. Uh, yes, I know you love these, Denise. Um, and I really, actually, I'm going to flick myself so you guys can read the stamp sets. So, um, yeah, I've got to go through and see what is, mm, this is weird, now I'm back to front, but that's okay. I've got to go through and, um, it's a very light purpley pink. France, you are right. I'm feeling very crooked. Right, hello, Miss Brooke Chu. We did miss you. 
Um, just doing my whole video, I will share it to the team page. Brooke is one of my team who we did uh, dearly miss on the weekend. So here we go. Here is a better look for you. If you want to read these stamp sets, flick your screen into quiet mode and you will be able to see it. Um, sorry, I've flicked my own screen into... Sorry, I'm trying to see the comments. Yes, I loved meeting you too, Patricia. Thank you for coming and finding me. Um... Okay, no problems, Carolyn. So this has some great sentiments. The best moments in my life happen with you. I can use that for so many of my friends and family. And we've got the friend smile and it's your time to shine. So, and I really like this fern and it was actually quite fortuitous that we got this because we're in New Zealand. So I did... Go to a whole nother country, had to get another passport because mine only expired. And um, one of their, I think they're native. I will, I will, Patricia. If I don't, please message me to remind me. Um, so this is um, almost like the silver fern and it is the logo for New Zealand it even appears on their passport and if anyone uh, follows rugby they it's on their jerseys so a silver fern so it was quite funny that that was a stamp set we got okay uh what else did we get in our bag oh we got our notebook now we get a notebook every on stage this has to be one of the better notebooks it's actually double-sided and it is quite large so uh, these will actually be available and I will share them here on my page as posters when the new catalog comes out so we've got the creativity calling on both but one is more modern which I like the type font. Hello, Miss Sarah. Welcome. Um, and these birds coordinate with the bird ballad suite. Now, I'm assuming that's the name because that's the name of the designer series paper. So this just, this just has um, lined and dotted paper in it. I have already started uh, working on some DSP swaps and stuff like that. On the plane home, I was busily writing. There was there was actually about seven or eight of us demonstrators on the same flight, and there were actually four of us sitting in three rows. So I was um, talking to, and uh, one in particular is a friend of mine, so um, she was sitting directly in front of us. So I'm there going, can you check this? What do you do? Blah, blah, blah. It was actually a really good workshopping um, situation and her and I were able to have some teamwork, even though we're not in the same team. That's what I love about my demonstrator friends. Um, so yes, they are beautiful colours, Philomena, and you can choose one or the other to work from. I've actually started working working from both um, sides at this stage. Um, next up, oh, and we got, I have one pen. I swear it's in my normal handbag. So we have these pens. I'm trying to get it without too much glare. Um, these pens that came in our bag, and we did get two. I've just got one missing. It never came out of the plastic. I was using another pen in my handbag, and I'm hoping it's still in my handbag. Sorry, guys, with my throat here, I have just refilled my water bottle and taking my flavory Duva Maduva out. Um, next, I'm thinking what else was in our bag. No, 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 no. Okay, checking my debt. So um, the first night of on stage, I am lucky enough to be at a title um, called Silver Elite. For those of you that don't know, hello, Miss Vicky. Um, and that qualified me for a leadership event called Centre Stage. Now, please bear with me while I take a drink. Mm. Okay, 
hopefully that'll help lubricate my poor throat. My throat is not sore, just my voice is not sounding great. So at centre stage, I have shared the photos. I did, Penny. I really, really did. I enjoy these events. A lot of my demonstrator friends, I only ever see at these events because uh, we don't live close. Um, unlike majority of my team, unfortunately, Thelma, who just popped in. Hi, Thelma. Doesn't live close to me either. Um, so we had this gift on our tables. And this is a very exclusive brand. Although walking through the airport, many of the other very high-end brands were extremely tempting, like Fendi and um, Gucci and all of those. And I'm there going, oh, I could so buy a handbag. But I didn't. So this is the very exclusive Stampin' Up! brand clutch that we received and we got a surprise inside. So our surprise inside is the new Timeless Label Punch. Hey Jody, sorry, trying to get this. It helps when I haven't taken it out of the plastic, but I will uh, very soon. So this is the punch. I'd already briefly looked in the catalog in between the end of the first day and um, center stage and went, I don't know if I need, I don't know if I'll order that punch. I said, I like it, but do I need another label punch in my life? And um, I got it and I'm very happy I did. Um, and it is a very versatile punch. I especially, where is my classic label punch? It's just over here. So I'll show you why I like it so much. And, you know, that was my first gut reaction. So the classic label punch, or please excuse the adhesive on my punch, um, is actually very narrow. So when I put these two punches together, you can see I can fit the wider sentiments in it, which is great, but it's still small enough. I am so, oh, I don't know if I'm refreshed. I fell asleep on the lounge a couple of times last night and then I really didn't get that much time in bed last night. Um, but yeah, we'll see. So I like it because it is a wider punch. I'll just pop these over here. I'm moving my pole from one side of the desk to the other. So, okay. Um, yeah, I don't know why I look refreshed. Maybe because I wash my hair. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Um, and it was a lovely event, lovely dinner at the Auckland War Memorial. Um, and we got to go through the museum on our way up to their very top and modern top floor because it's actually I'd assume it's a heritage building over there and um yeah that's on top of the hill views were stunning um yeah it was a lovely evening lovely meal and we had um some a um dancing group they did some traditional Maori singing and dancing for us which was very entertaining it was lovely I haven't shared the videos over here but if you want to see those videos I oh it's only one time zone difference I don't know it's only one time zone different this is just my normal look there's no makeup, no nothing today. You're getting Ellen au natural. Although I was very, I did wear makeup at the event. Something different in my life. Thank you, Miss Gail. Um, so on day two, I was very, we have, um, I will show you. The other thing we got, we you get in our bags is our, um, we get our ribbons to denote our title and anything else we've earned. So I earned the centre stage event and my title. And you get this number. So this number entitles you to Prize Patrol. And on day two, I was very lucky enough to earn Prize Patrol. So I can show you some things in the catalogue. I just can't show you the catalogue pages. <coughs> and I got this 
delightful day stamp set which is sort of an everything stamp set with some fantastic um smaller pieces so um these two you can use separately or they're designed to use together and this little sprinkly background set is great hello irene thank you very much for sharing my video um so and i also like that this stamp set has a to and from i don't think i would have bought this um as a first run through in the catalog but I am very um, thankful that I got it and it will definitely be used because a lot of these um, shorter sentiments will go great with the classic label punch that I showed you earlier and this... Um... <laughs> I'm glad we do get excited and we really did have a good time. Um, it's just... The three days is a lot and seeing a lot of people, I think I think yesterday I was quite just emotionally exhausted and the, the three and a bit hour flight home was nice um, just to have that sort of downtime even though I was travelling with people. I didn't have, you weren't saying, hi, how are you, how have you been, blah, 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 oh, lovely to meet you, however much I love that having it for that amount of time um can be a bit emotionally draining um yeah so we um we also had a presentation from um our demonstrator development manager for queensland which is a state in australia hey susan um and she gave us um uh, this is apparently a New Zealand um, chocolate and it's called a Chalky Fish. I haven't opened it, um, but they've got, they've got some very different things. And having not been to New Zealand before, um, going to a supermarket, there were some very different things. And even though we, they're the next country next to us... Um, it was really different, their, their things. Although they try and claim the pavlova as their own, I will staunchly say the pavlova is Australian. Oh, really, Vicky? See, you've got insider information having a Kiwi husband. So I haven't eaten any of the chocolates. I was a good girl. Um, and also from one of the um, US staff, she, in her Stampin' Up! apron, she um, gave me a Reese's Pieces cluster. Now, I love peanut butter. So um, having this Reese's cluster, I'm very excited. So these will take me all year to eat, but that's okay. Um, and we had some make and takes. So we had our sit down in the morning at the main stage and they did all the presentations and product spotlights and all of that, which was fantastic. And uh, then we went to another room, sat down at tables and had lunch. So um, for lunch, we... Oh, I didn't eat lunch because I ate during the thing, uh, ate during the presentation. Then they said, we're going to have lunch. And it's like, I'm not hungry. So, yeah. Ah, no, 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 no. Chocolate disappears here too, but I just eat it slower the most. Um, so the first day's... Um, make and takes. The first one that we did was very exciting and it's something that's happening on May 15th and it is happening in both the US and the rest of the world. There is a very exclusive paper pumpkin kit called Hugs from Shelly and for those of you that don't know, Shelly is the founder of Stampin' Up! and Sarah, our current CEO's mum and um, she sat down with the paper pumpkin designers and designed her own kit. So um, the kit in Australia is $36, either $36 or $39. I did have a quick look before I came on and it will be available in Australia while stocks last. We will not be getting uh, paper pumpkin 
subscriptions at this stage um, but the kit will be available while stocks last and it will be the May paper pumpkin kit in America so if you are a paper pumpkin subscriber in America don't skip next month and if you're not a paper pumpkin subscriber in America sign up for a subscription you won't regret it this is Shelly's. This is one of the four cards in Shelly's kit. It's very um, bird and nest inspired. Very simple card. It also has, so this is a printed card base, a um, rose gold foil label. There you go. I caught it in the light so you can see it. And it has printed, sorry, printed envelopes as well. No, don't skip. Do not skip next month. Yes, it is very pretty. It's very Shelly, very feminine. Um, I will later tonight here on my Facebook group share um, the information for Australia. And I will share a video that has now been loaded up onto our uh, demonstrator place. Yes. Well, I we have had a trial here in Australia of pay oh Jody, you are gonna love the new catalog. There's a birdie sweet. Um, it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. And I will show you one of those cards in a second. It's called Bird Banter. I swear I just had it in my hand and I've lost it. Oh, because it's here face down. So I will show you this card next. This, this, the stamp set is called Bird Ballad and I have coloured that using Stampin' Blends. Now, I only used three colours of Stampin' Blends. So, I've used Light Daffodil Delight, uh, Light Old Olive and Light Crumb Cake. But I've gone over in multiple layers to darken it up and give it um, a little bit of dimension. And the pattern paper is called Bird Banter. And that matches the cover of my... Um, cover of my notebook so that is beautiful paper there are seagulls feathers um those bird cages that i showed you um in the file folders um some beautiful florals uh yeah lovely things in that set now the other card that we did is from the come sell away suite and this is a fantastic masculine suite. It's great for um, those who love the sea. If you spend a lot of time uh, near the beach and ocean and memory keep, this is a great set. And it says, let's let hope be your anchor throughout the storms in your life. So uh, that has some fantastic uh, nautical inspired uh, pattern paper. I really like it. Uh, yeah, yep, I have that coming hopefully this week. I'm not sure what's going on with the warehouse and Australia Post, but I do hope this comes uh, very quickly because I'm looking forward to this set. Uh, so that sort of ended uh, day one, uh, day two, and we had lots and lots of fun. We also, um, the products on the table, we go along and take a pick between the six or eight people. I think there are eight people um, at a table. Um, unfortunately, I didn't get a stamp set out of um, that day, but I did get some of the twine and I'll show it to you on here. Now this twine is goes with the Come Sail Away um sweet and it is sahara sorry sahara sand and um night of navy so that is really nice twine that i will use a lot i see lots of frames go with that set i think hey chris Thank you for joining. I hope you had fun while I was away. 
I know you had some visitors recently. I hope they were well behaved. My parents went to visit Chris. <laughs> um, yes, so day two, uh, we had more make and take. So we had three the first day. And we had two the second day. Um, I've realised I haven't trimmed down the card before I got in. Now, this is called the Perennial Essence Sweep, and I love it. So this designer series paper is actually very Monet-esque, um, and it was actually hand-printed by the designers, hand-painted rather by the designers at Stampin' Up! and um, then scanned in and color corrected and they are beautiful and this is the colored vellum that i showed in a photo yesterday this is the leftover of the colored vellum um, and i have stamped sorry stamped on that with um ink and punched it out using the stamp set. I may have ordered this because these colours are kind of my jam, especially with the Blackberry Bliss. And what are the other colours? Balmy Blue, Blackberry Bliss, Blueberry Bushel, Calypso Coral, Crush Curry, Floaty Flamingo, Mossy Meadow, ooh, ooh, Mossy Meadow, Old Olive, Petal Pink, So Saffron and Whisper White. So... They're kind of my colours and I really, really want to show you these uh, flower centres. They're actually 3D and they're fluffy and they are, mm, sorry, just trying to show you how fluffy they are. And these are an accessory that is available. So this is all a sweet and it's the perennial essence uh, sweet, which is beautiful. And then we have a really fun, and this is probably the first time since the Angel Policy stamp set, um, which has um, a stamp and a couple of other things in the Angel Policy Stampin' Up! copyright, but this one does not have the Angel Policy uh, copyright. This is the Follow Your Art stamp set, and it has patterned paper, and stamps and it is it even has dies um, that match the stamp sets and I have once again colored these in with blends so that was our last make and take which was great and I was able to score out of the bag uh, the box pick the floral essence stamp set so when I have uh, my launch, because I had already ordered uh, the Floral Essence stamp set. So this one is used and I will keep this. But when I get my Floral, floral Essence stamp set, it will be a prize at my launch. So any of you that are local um, can come to my launch and we'll make some projects. Out of the new catalogue, we'll have some prizes and have lots of specials as well and some fun. Um, day three in the afternoon, we had some training for the leaders and I did put this and if Jodie's still in here, I'm so sorry. We had so much fun. Um, I didn't open the box, even though I knew what was in the box. I didn't open the box and we played a game on my team page with my uh, fellow demonstrators of what's in Ellen's box and yes you may all laugh um, yeah they really do they definitely change and stay on trend which is great that we have three catalogs in our year um, it allows us to stay on trend and with our in colours, we're also able to do that, which is fantastic. I just wish I had more samples of the in colours to show you. Um, and because we'd already had lunch and had our make and takes and went and did this in the afternoon special, this was full of some snacks that we could eat. And we got, I haven't eaten them yet. We got a Stampin' Up! gingerbread which I thought was rather sweet. Those of you that have been around for a while may remember um, the Stampin' Up! silicon punches, stamps, that you could stamp into a cookie. I still have some, 
actually. We got some salty, salty caramel popcorn. Yum, my favorite. And we got Ferrero Rochers. So that was a bit special, but I wasn't hungry from lunch, so I didn't eat anything. I wasn't hungry, Jody. I have a very small stomach nowadays. Um, yeah, and I wanted to share everything with you guys, so I didn't want to eat it. And we also got a bit of a sneak peek. This is the Rocco Rose, not the green. I'm talking about this ribbon. This is the Rocco Rose in colour ribbon, and it does have a name. Let's see if I can flick forward my catalogue here. It's very soft and very beautiful. I love how, um, and everything in the new catalogue, just to tell you all, is much bigger. So you can see the smaller products much, much, much easier. So this comes in all, mm, wrong direction. Wrong direction. Okay, so this is called the Scalloped Linen Ribbon. And um, you could definitely cut off the linen so you can just use the coloured trim if you wished. So that is something really cool. Um, I was able to score some items um, out of our pick boxes. Just some everyday items. Aqua painters, some glue dots, some snail, a... Um, ink pad yeah the ribbon it's probably one of my favorite in color ribbons in a good number of years Vicky and I haven't bought in color ribbons I didn't buy any in color ribbons last year at all um yeah but a lot of ribbons have carried over and there are some beautiful um new ribbons and combo packs there is a combo pack in our magnolia lane uh, sweet, which is very nice. Um, our Magnolia Lane Sweet is, um, it's a huge sweet. Two stamp sets, two um, pattern paper packs, the combo ribbon pack, it's beautiful, um, an embossing folder, uh, dies, yeah, beautiful, beautiful sweet. I have bought some bits out of that, but not the whole sweet. And we had an all attendee giveaway, which is our Mosaic Mood specialty paper. Now, what is special about this paper? It's a bit heavier in weight, and every piece on one side has a glazed effect. So I'm going to try, yep, yeah, you can see that glazed effect. So this is the Hummingbirds, and that is the B-side. Sorry, that colour is coming through from the front, but it doesn't. Oh no, it does have a little bit of um, soft suede um, colouring to it. Oh, I grabbed two pieces of paper there. have this awesome tile. And then on the back of that, we have this awesome, and I'm assuming this is so saffron. Let me check. I love that Stampin' Up! give us the colours on our packaging. Uh, no, it's crushed curry. Crushed curry. There could be a shade of crushed curry. Then we have this smaller tile design. And we have just plain hummingbirds on the back. And they haven't got any treatment at all. Now, this has to be one of my favourites. I've got two favourite papers and they're both next to each other. This beautiful leaf design. Oh, my God, I love it. And I also love the B-side. Hello, Miss Jamie. Uh, this is just plain. It doesn't have that glaze effect. And it's uh, butterflies and flowers. And then my other favourite design is a glazed version of the last design with the roses and butterflies. 
And then on the back of that, you've got a crushed curry version of that leaf design. So I really like that they've um, they've really... Thank you, Miss Jamie. If I didn't have this losing or feel like I'm losing my voice thing, it'd be great. And we have this amazing tile and then we have a repeat of this so a lot of the patterns got repeated which I like because they're in different um, color combinations which makes it a bit more versatile so they're all the goodies that I received and I made um, and now I'm going to get in to my swaps and I was very thankful to get my center stage box because it's how I bought I can't open it I haven't opened it since I got it open. who wants to bet Ellen can't open the box oh it's coming great um and I put my 3d swaps even though hey Michelle um even though I um Oh, awesome, Jody! I've had press and seal for a while. A friend of mine from America sent me a bit of a care parcel with um, some stuff that I bought off Amazon over there. That's okay, Jamie. You can go back and have a look. Have a look on the replay. Um, one of the things I was given is this beautiful wood box and it was from my upline for achieving center stage and it's just a beautiful carved box so on to my swaps oh the knot on this has come undone but this is our sweet treat boxes uh nothing at this stage jamie and i got some cute easter eggs Chocolate seems to be the theme. Hello, Miss Yvonne. Uh, nothing at this stage, Jamie, to answer your question. I already knew that before I left. I think I'm going to have to open this one up because her details are the wrong way. So do I, uh, Michelle. I might put it on my bedside table to... Yes, 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 yes. I knew that, Jamie. Um, this is by, it's a no adhesive box and it's from Kaz Bolin. And Kaz or Boylan did a beautiful presentation on the Follow Your Art, which is this uh, bundle. Hey Ray, I did, I did. And what is in her box? Ooh. A caramello koala and some Whittaker chocolates, which are actually um, New Zealand chocolates. So yeah, it's a no a no adhesive box, which is great. I'm not going to put it back together. From my, my downline Helen, I got this cute little. Uh, it's a post-it note holder, Oop. and it just these post-its uh, just sit in there, which is great. And I didn't even realise she incidentally or coincidentally, I'm not sure. Yes, Australia and New Zealand, all in one box. She colour coordinated her um, post-its and this just Velcro closes. I Now this one does have a name, but it's inside. And this one is chocolate and tea. Really, these girls go all out and I was very blessed to get many of these because, um, as I said, I didn't make swaps and these girls were very generous. This was Amanda Shields. Um, so it's got, it's got two pouches. So, and it's just connected at the top by some uh, linen thread. So on one side you've got the tea bag and on the other side we've got more chocolate, a Freddo. Uh, this one is, 
This one doesn't have a name. So if you are watching this and this is yours, please give a shout out. This just has a couple of Easter eggs in it. Uh, just using the tag top up punch and just joining the two ends at the top, which is a great idea, um, especially if you want to give something like this out to a class as a gift. It's simple and easy. Now, this one, ooh, I have a little key ring in here too. Ooh, some of them you don't actually get a chance to look at until you come home. And I can't get it out. Here it, it's coming. Okay. Yeah. Oh, hello, Miss M. This is from Christine Aberdeen. And it's a Stampin' Up apron. Oh, my God. It's so cute. And we've even got the tie on the back. I'm going to have to find somewhere, I think, on my ink spinner here. I will have to put that up because that is way too cute. Oh, was she just? Lachlan was very quiet last night. And I think I have. She made this teeny tiny vellum envelope. I so would not have the patience. It is super cute, Em. You've got good taste, my love. Do we have time to catch up these holidays, Jamie? Sorry, my fingers aren't strong enough. I do use my teeth for a lot of things. I know I shouldn't. And I got this. Oh, cute. Hang on. Cute. Kangaroo. Hang on this way. Cute kangaroo. That is very, very, very sweet. Um, now I have the rest of my things over here. Now my beautiful friend Leonie Newman, who also lives in New South Wales, um, she didn't make cards to swap, but she has a couple of ventures and she is part of the Kayama a boomerang bag group and was giving away boomerang bags and I'm a sucker for bags absolute sucker so that was really cute and this is a pocket so it was nice to know that she sewed this um it's not card related but it still meant a lot um that she gave one to me uh, this one is, this is another bit of a 3D one. It's a bit of a pen holder. And then I'll get onto the cards and they will go fairly quickly. But I did have a great time and saw lots of, I saw lots of demonstrators I already know, met lots of new ones, missed some who couldn't make it. There were quite a number of um, passport mishaps. Apparently the passport office wasn't playing nicely with a few people and a few people didn't get their passports passports back in time oh this is from a local demonstrator in my um grader team denise so this is a really cute pen holder so here she has used the um tag topper punch to um hold the pen on this bookmark Yes, I got many Kayla hugs, actually. Kayla and I, we always seem to see each other. And I've known Kayla for over 20, uh, for over, uh, over 10 years because, yeah, for about 15 years, I've known Kayla. Sorry, I'm just fixing something here, guys. I've known Kayla uh, pre pre-stampin up actually um this really cute one is by joe stewart a really cute hobby easter one using the uh twinkle twinkle pattern paper and the basket weave um basket weave embossing folder ah uh, see i met her on scrapbooking forums but not that forum this is from claire ellison and she now, I don't know that town, so I'm assuming she is a New Zealand demo. So that is using the Daisy uh, Punch. And I can't see what stamp set because I'm not opening it. 
This is one of Kylie Bertucci's swaps. And she has used the needle and thread and the needle point nook paper. And the story label punch, the story label punch is carrying over. So I am very happy. It's not available at the moment, but it will be available in the new catalogue. So this one is from Michelle Miller. I love how she's put these colours and frames together and how she's done a wonky frame with the um, stitched rectangle framelits, which are also staying as are. Now, this is the... She hasn't written it. She hasn't written what the word is, but this is in the Current Occasions catalogue and um, the die is carrying over. The name of it is currently escaping me. I got a really cute daisy lollipop. Unfortunately, I think the details are on the inside. Hang on. Let's see if I can get them out. Oh, oh tweezers. I have tweezers for a reason, don't I? Oop. Let's see if I can get it out. Oh, I've got it. I shouldn't leave that in my mouth. I'll probably swallow it. I can hear all of you there going. <gasps> but anyway. I've got it partially out. This is from Heidi Bell and a lollipop with a really cute daisy punch cover. I love that. Uh, oh, I love this one. This is from Virginia Hampton, aka, AKA Wurgy. And this is a humongous paper clip with the daisy punch. And she did lots of different colours. And Wurgy is another one I've known for many, many, many years. I know Jamie would probably know her as well. Um, this is Danita Writes Me. Now, Danita wasn't there, uh, but one of her downline was swapping for her was no Danita wasn't there I didn't see Danita uh, this is from I'm gonna have to open it it is once again another huge paper clip Kmart or something must have had huge uh, paper clips because this is really 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 cool this is from Lynn Fox and she appears to be an Australian demo by her telephone number. So this that is from the Dragon Dry, Dragonfly Dreams stamp set, which unfortunately is not or Dragonfly Dreams, yes, which is not a carrying over set, which is a bit sad because I own it and I liked it and I've neglected it recently. So you never know. I I wouldn't mind loving some of these stamp sets and making some um, quick and simple cards before they are gone forever. Ah, uh, right, good oak, they came up, right? I knew they were one of the two. Or maybe I did say came up, I don't know. Uh, this is from Melissa Gifford. And this is using the tree ring set, which isn't hanging around. And uh, the Sunshine Wishes isn't hanging around either. Oh, yeah, because uh, Wergie's one was uh, purple. Purple metallic, Jamie. I am just going to stop for another drink. Now, this one is using... Petal Promenade, and it's from Monica Formosa. Beautiful little, um, a card that has a pocket in it, and you can take out the tag. Let's take that tag out so I can show you. And that's the tag. That's beautiful. And that is also, as far as I know, it's not even really sore. 
I can I am straining it and I probably shouldn't be doing this but I wanted to get it done and shown so then I can put it away I this is Ruth Sutton and she's been a demo a bit shorter than me but this is the first time I met her um this is using the uh mermaid dreams I want to say mermaid magical mermaid set and it is carrying over and I love this set I do I do need to take some um I just will not do it while I'm talking to you my my voice is getting progressively worse which confirms that I shouldn't have gone to work this morning which I didn't um but yeah she did a beautiful uh technique what technique did she say on the back of that sorry I'm she created the background by inking up a block and spritzing it with water and a swish of uh, aqua painter to create a watercolour look. So she's done that and then she pressed the cardstock into the wash, uh, which was, I love that. Thank you, Ruth. I will case that technique. This is a duo. This is Kylie Hollins and Michelle, and, sorry, Catherine Hollands and Kylie Ward. And this is using the Beauty Bounds and Butterfly Gala stamp sets, which are carrying over into the new catalogue. So that's a lovely soft set. Um, we have, this is Shirley Jones. And I uh, got to meet Shirley for the first time. And um, Shirley is... Uh, we do some, um, we do a group together. So it was lovely to meet her and get her Healing Hugs card. Healing Hugs is also carrying over. So these are great. These will go in my samples box for my customers to look at. Because we all have such different styles um, that it's uh, wonderful to be able to show my customers. Now this is, now she says her name is Tatiana, but I know it's Tanya. This is, I want to say Tanya Tobin off the top of my head. And this is using, did she have, this is using, I want to say, I know the dyes are, oh, here it is. It's falling flowers and the dyes are the Mayflowers and sadly they will not be carrying over into the new catalogue. But the lovely label punch, I want to say it's the lovely label punch. Uh, no, the pretty label punch that is carrying over. It's gorgeous and using the tea time paper. Now I was able to get some international swaps and this is from Tamara Davis. It's a beautiful swap. Now I don't know if she has put a recipe on the inside. Tamara is a scream. Oh my God, she made me laugh so much. We happened to keep on. No, I haven't got it, but it's definitely the beautiful you set. And she, it looks as though she's colored it in with blends. And this has some type of, has a texture on it. So I dare say she may have used the um, Saddles embossing fold up to give it some texture. A very simple card and a great different use of our blends. I really, really like this. Thank you, Tamara. It was lovely to meet you. I swear she's been out to Australia before for one of our events, um, possibly last time we had a live in Brisbane. But yeah, she's a um, lovely, lovely lady. I enjoyed um, meeting her. Okay, next up, I don't even need to say who this is. This is Pam Jorgensen uh, using the... Uh, mm. And it's actually a photo frame. And she made them for her Stamp Out Cancer event that was um, supported by Stampin' Up! She... Um, Stampin' Up! do um, philanthropic work behind the scenes and um, they helped at her event. 
to help support and um, build a cancer unit in her local area in Victoria. Sorry, I'll open this and I will show you the frame. And I think this is the Zest for Life set. Oh my God, Pam, this is beautiful. Oh, it's, um, and it's got score lines on it. Uh, uh, hmm. Oh, mm. Okay, so you fold it out and then you fold it up and you can make a, you've got a frame and it is covered in, uh, there we go, it's covered in uh, shimmer spray. It's beautiful. Thank you, Miss Pam. Love seeing my Pam. She's gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous lady. Okay. Almost there. This is from Jenny Scott, and this is using the love ones. Love your, what you do, and ones love what you share. Love what you do stamp set and love what you share paper, which is not carrying over to the new catalogue, neither of them are. But these are beautiful. Thank you for that. This is from Jessie Holton using the, um, the Koi set and some pattern paper and the stitched shapes framelits, which we're keeping. I like all my stitch things. Hey, Deb, you're back. Um, and this is from Marion Pittman. And this is using the classic, uh, the Geared Up Garage Bundle, which I'm pleased to say is carrying over to the new catalogue. Yay! Both my children are covered in this catalogue. I'm so excited. Lachlan, my eldest, as you know, all loves cars. He's a car freak. My youngest actually loves dinosaurs. And there's a dinosaur suite in the new catalogue. I'm a bit excited. Um, and this is from Tracy Bish. And this is beautiful. This is using the handwritten background, which we which she has silver embossed. Um, and it is stain, which I'm very happy. Uh, wonderful romance and butterfly gala. So I just love how um, vintage feel this card is. So it's beautiful. And last but not least, my roomie, Mel. Melanie Glasson. She doesn't. She's not on social media for her stamping up. But she made this with the Beauty Abounds. Um, uh, the Beauty Abounds Suite, which I love. And she made them in all different colours. And, of course, I chose Highland Heather because I love Highland Heather. I love purple. So that concludes my sharing, which means I now have to put it all the way. And my plan for this afternoon after a dentist visit for my boys is to um, go through my stamp sets and work out what's going. I have got a pretty good idea of what I'm losing. Uh, but yeah, if you guys, and I should have said this at the start, if you guys would like um, the catalogue, please contact me and I will get one to you if you are in Australia um, and you don't already have a demonstrator. So I'm more than happy to um, get you a catalogue. But just contact me um, and I will do that. I will now go rest my voice because whilst I wanted to do this, it probably wasn't a good idea. But anyway, it's done. I had a wonderful time. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you guys for coming and coming in and saying hi. I really appreciate it. If you guys didn't come in and say hi and hang with me, I wouldn't be doing the video. So I really do appreciate um, that you come in and say hi. It does make it all worthwhile. Um, and those that are on YouTube, I also appreciate you watching my replays. Um, yeah. 
it does it makes it all worthwhile we are part of a crafting community and without the community it will be a very lonely thing that we did uh, even though I'm sitting here in my craft room by myself um, like many of us demonstrators do these events and us being able um, to share in a meaningful way for us does make it uh, worth it so yeah I had an amazing time and I'm looking forward to our single day event oh hey Elfie sorry I didn't see you come in um, yeah, I um, in November we will be in Sydney, which is really an hour and a half from where I live, which is great. So I'll have a weekend in the city, which will be nice. Thank you, guys, and I will catch you all again, hopefully later in the week if my uh, voice holds on. If not, I will definitely be sharing... Um, some of my projects in the meantime and tonight or sometime today I will be sharing the details about the hugs from Shelley uh, paper pumpkin kit that will be a one-off exclusive wild stocks last kit in Australia so thank you guys and I'll see you next time bye